Wait a moment. This isn't a furry visual novel. Hey guys, Derry here from Drakewing Gaming. Some of you know me on Twitter, The Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming at you another Let's Play episode of Changeling Tale, Grace's Path. So I played a little bit ahead in the uh, Not Safe for Work version, and let me tell you, I would have to do a lot, a lot of editing to, get put, to be able to put this part on YouTube, so I don't think that's really worth the trouble right now. Um... Oh lord. <laughs> oh yeah, she uh oh she gets as you can see from that little uh that second thumbnail right there, she she's uh her transformation is uh going all over the place. And her hands are somewhere. But anyway guys, I'm gonna keep doing this version right here. Um uh, I'm not sure how much this differs. I guess I'll see now that I've played a little bit further. But anyway guys, sit back and enjoy and let me entertain you for the next twenty minutes. Alright, let's go. I focus on the sensation and pressure of our mouths engaged in their own instinctual movements of give and take. Any lingering chill from the cold locked waters is warded away by the warmth radiating from our body. Hmm. Hmm. That dream is coming true. Yep, there you go. There's a tail. We kiss for a moment, or an eternity. A sharp inhale, not my own, catches me off guard. Grace breaks our connection to turn her head, look down. At first, I wonder if something is rising from the depths, but then I realize it's not the depths she's looking at. It's the tail. It's gonna get bigger. There you go. Yep. She's looking at the tail now, staking out from beneath her dress. Not the nub from before, but a scaly, undeniably tail-shaped appendage. It must be four feet in length and tipped with an array of delicate webbing. The bright blue color shines even among the deep, dark waters. Her eyes are full of glee. My eyes must be equally full of disbelief. Hmm. Oop. She gives the tail a flip. And takes off in a flourish. No other water ballet that follows would put any Royal Academy dancer or trained, or trained performance seal to shame. I would appreciate it all the more if it weren't again on the verge of drowning. My arms weigh frantically for her attention. She swims back in a flash and gives me another deep, passionate kiss, filling my lungs with, my, with life and my stomach with butterflies. Then she takes my hand and pulls me rapidly to the surface. Okay, there you go. These were not covered in the uh, uncensored version. It's hard to hear Grace over my gasp for air, and my ears are ringing from an equalized pressure. It's you, Malcolm. It is you. Twirling in the sea, bathed in the light of the surface world once more, her body shimmers like never before. I've never seen Grace so happy. What happened? You happened. We were down there, and everything was so perfect, so serene, and then we kissed, and I felt you, your energy, right to my core. Word after word pours from her mouth in her brain breathless excitement. And that energy! I felt it channel into into my waist, my hips, my butt! <laughs> and I could feel it wriggling, stretching, growing, it felt so good and so right, and I... I... The bewilderment was showing my face. Oh, Malcolm, don't even try to understand! You have to experience it to believe it! It's simply amazing! You're amazing! She proceeds to, she proceeds to circle around me at a rapid pace, like a sheepdog herding a sheep. I'm glad to see her so happy. The sudden attention is making me feel just a mighty ill at ease. I don't know if I'm comfortable being held responsible for Grace growing a tail. In fact, I'm definitely uncomfortable that I might unwittingly cause tail growth in anyone. Malcolm, be rational. Grand doesn't have a tail. You don't have a tail line. Neither do your wartime comrades, nor Marion, nor anyone you've never met you've ever met. Still, I hate to admit that I felt something magical too underwater. Crivens, what if Alana was right after all? Grace! I don't know if... Grace? Somewhere in between picturing Gran and Marion with a tail, I'd lost track of Grace. My head bobs like a buoy as I turn this way and that, looking all around for her. Nope. Ah, oh, oh, wonderful. Yep, there's the thumbnail. There, yep, there's the thumbnail. <laughs> the sea erupts beside me, and the sun is momentarily blocked out by Grace's form as she arcs over my head, twirling with... with... well, with... with Grace! <laughs> she lands with a mighty splash on my other side and quickly emerges, laughing. Lost in the absurdity of it all, I can't help but laugh too. Now I know what it feels like to be the circus ball that the sail jumps over. That's a pretty nifty trick you got there, Miss Grace. Oh, I'm full of surprises, Mr. Campbell. Just you watch this. Still grinning, I watch her take off down the lake and dive underwater with hardly a ripple.
My brain falters when I see just beyond, a small outline of a rowboat and its fisherman skipper. Oh, Grace, what are you doing? Had he seen us? It doesn't look like it, but best I can tell, the fisherman is looking the other way. But then, beside the boat, a small dot emerges that's a small dot emerges that's no catch of the day. Grace, don't you dare. Do it! <laughs> Watch on in horror as I see her tail rise in slow motion out of the water. At a mighty slap, I can hear it from here, and a deluge of water explodes onto the boat, nearly tipping it over. The fisherman shouts obscenities all too apropos for a sailor, carry all the way across the lock to my ears. In the distance, I believe I can see Grace make an equally obscene gesture back at him before diving back underwater. That woman! Bolden, Bolden is a present minx! For someone who cherishes her privacy, she sure doesn't mind stirring the pot for the rest of us. This is a fine kettle of... Ha! Huh. And how do you like that? Grace, this is not a game! She must have swum the distance in quarter of the time of the champion swimmer. I'm caught by surprise at her sudden reappearance, and the words can, and the words come out more harshly than I intend. Oh, don't be a wet blanket. You sound like my sister again. I see all too well how Grace can get on Marion's nerves, but I'm not so easily exasperated by her sister. At least not yet. I try to speak more evenly, and choose my words carefully. Grace, the town's already abuzz about a mermaid sighting. Do you really want to give them a reason to come out here in droves, hoping to catch... A photo of me? Only if they get my good side. <laughs> no, you goose, to catch you! She darts around me behind she darts around behind me in a second flat. I'd like to see them try. With my view ahead now unobstructed, I can see the fishman rowing at us full speed ahead. Come back here, you salmon headed scallywag! And you do drop of a merman friend too. A merman? Heaven forbid words get to grand this Sunday. The cues will quake with tittle tattle. And since that I recognize the voice, it's the fishmonger from this morning. The mermaid rumors will never be put to rest now. Oh, and bull your head, you witless herring. Grace! What? I've read of a few more curses flying our way. I'm more worried about getting whacked over the head with an oar. Then follow me. Before I know it, I'm being dragged along full tilt through the water. Our ships caught the trade winds, and my head feels like the prow. <laughs> now we dive under, throwing our pursuer off our trail beneath the waves. I struggle to hold my breath, but we are but we reemerge after not long. Hmm. Jesus. She's fast. Well, that tail ought to give you some speed. I wipe away wet locks of hair from my face, open my eyes, and recognize immediately where she's taken me. There's a glimmer of mischief in Grand and Grace's expression. We're back in the grotto beneath the ruins. Its dancing light reflections are etched into my mind, as well as other memorable sights. It reminds me of how fast these past days have gone. Grace, please, this is all it's all has to slow down. Here, take a seat. She pulls me from the lock and we sit on the stone ledge, feet dangling in the water. Grace places her hand on my chest. Your heart, it's racing. Of course it is, Grace. This is all too much, much, much too much. Me, I'm too much. Always, dear girl. There is no slow is there slow is there no slowing down today? Catch your breath. No one will find us in here, I promise. My heartbeat slows to a less merciless pulse, and I watch Grace stroke her arms, her chest, her tail. Her smile tells me how pleased she is to be this way. Her eyes glance up and can't be watching before I can avert my gaze. Malcolm, it's all right. Don't you see? This all, this all makes sense now. You've come back into my life to save me, to make me whole. Two people to make a whole. Does that make us a couple? I can hardly think about that right now. <laughs> a whole lot of trouble. Oh, stop. This is amazing. It's so powerful. Malcolm, this is so much more than us being attracted to each other. I swallow. Light bounces up from beneath the waves, illuminating her face, her dainty nose, her ruddy cheeks, and every sparkle delicately shining across her body. So, you are you are attracted to me. Oh, don't be silly. I am. You know I am. I don't think I've hit it very well. I dare you say, I dare say you cast a spell on me. Wait. Don't let it cross your mind, Grace. There's no black magic inside one Malcolm Campbell. If there were, I'd be using it to acquire loads of riches, not... A girlfriend. <laughs> Is that what you are? My girlfriend. A nervous tingle races from my head to my toes, filling my body with warmth and desire. My pulse beats faster, in time with the lapping waters. Is this what I want? Now. No. No, I am not. 
Just like that, I return to a semblance of sanity. Things are still moving too quickly. Being with Grace requires keeping up with any number of unknown paces. Because yesterday you wanted to be left alone, and today... I've been enjoying having you by my side. I even thought we might become more than friends, I just never expected this. At first, I believe her to be talking about our connection. I see that she's gone back to admiring her changes. I can't compete with a Finn, can I? You can if there's more Finn to come. Oh, so you'll use me for my sorcery, my magic spells. Well, yes. The light hits Grace's face at just the right angle for me to see she's blushing. I can think of other ways to use you as well. Despite the frigid water covering my body, I'm overheating and I know she's to blame. I'm about to ask her to describe what she means when she turns the tables on me. Malcolm, do you have feelings for me? More than just physical attraction? Yes, of course. My lord, this girl does not beat around the bush. She's honest, she's witty, she's unapologetic. She's a kindred soul and... and... Yes. I do believe I'm falling for you. She might be turning into a fish, but my lush, I'm falling for her. But making the admission, I feel a weight lifted. I've been carrying around the shock of her body changing, the threat of losing her to the sea, the unbearable fear of the unknown. With that burden gone, I can only hope for a response in kind. Do you? Do you have feelings for me too? Hush! The sound of horrors plying the waters outside echo in the chamber. It has to be the fisherman. Does he know of the grotto? Surely he had not seen us come in here. The opening is too small for the boat to enter, but a hunter with a sharp eye might yet spot us inside. Hmm. Oh, oh that's a good picture. <laughs> that is nice. Grace stands, pulling me with her. She pushes, my, she pushes my body against the cave wall and squeezes up against me to make sure we are blocked from view. Boobies! <laughs> I'm such a fucking child! Grace in her wet chair underdress. I can feel her chest against my beard cage and her heart racing next to mine. That is a good picture. That, I don't know that moment. I wouldn't need a picture. Her waist is dangerously close to well, where, it ought, where it ought not to be. Unbidden, I firmly press up against her as well. Uh oh. <laughs> her eyes go wide and fill with mischief once again. She whispers in my ear. It's free real estate. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I'm weak. I'm weak. I have an illness. I can't stop myself. I don't believe you, Malcolm McCam Malcolm Campbell. For a moment, I think it's my answer she doesn't trust. Then she continues, her hot breath on my earlobe. You do have magical powers, and you've cast a spell on a poor unsuspecting girl, and... Web fingers trace wet circles in my shirt, swirling down, down, until they become hooked in my waterlogged belt loop. You're making all her dreams come true. Uh-huh, yeah, we know what happens. He bangs a fish girl. Yep. <laughs> he bangs a fish girl. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, props to the artist who drew this. This is so... I, I love the detail in this. It's pro I think the art style might probably be one of my favorite of the, all the VNs I've played so far. Because of how incredibly detailed it is. Oh, my God! Wow, she's gone full scaly. I finally find my voice. Grace. I stop and gasp. This time for a much different reason. Your, your face! Oh, uh, you know what? I like it better now. She was already she was already very pretty, but now, man, hell, yeah. Hey, yeah, I like that. 10 out of 10, baby. <laughs> you guys know what you guys... You, you guys know what I like. <laughs> Where her sweet button nose was once was, once was is now as long blah is now as long as shiny and irregular as the tail behind her. Is it a muzzle? A snout? I, I don't know what. Her dress is torn, split open down the front, the sleeves hanging on by mere threads. What just happened? You seemed tense. I wanted to help you relax until the boat left. I think it's gone now. No, that. I put my hand onto her snout. Is it? It is solid, though. I hardly believe my own senses. She straightens and touches what, I used to, what used to be her nose. Oh! Oh, this! She begins to rub it as well, giggling. 
Oh my, how exciting! I think I think this is how I'm supposed to catch prey to catch prey. Yes, it'll be much easier to get fish in my mouth now and other things. She giggles again, looking at her own reflection in the water. Then that strange face turns back to me. Shame about this dress, though. Marion made it for me. I really quite liked it. I guess I wouldn't fit in it now, any anyway. I notice we are almost eye to eye. She has mysteriously grown, and that scares me as much as her distorted visage. It's just like a fairy tale. You do have the magic touch. Tell me, Malcolm, did you like it? <laughs> the hair, the eyes, the voice, it's all undeniably still grace. The woman before me looks more draconic than human. In my gut, I know it to my core now. It's all somehow my doing. It takes every ounce of willpower I have not to scream. I, ne I need some time, please, I have to go. I throw myself ungracefully into the water and can't swim out of the grotto fast enough. The current fights me every inch of the way. <laughs> yep. Uh, she ain't going back. It's when I pull myself into the pebbly shore, mentally and physically exhausted, that I realize my pants still dangle unceremoniously loose. I hurry to refashion my belt, refasten my belt, even though my whole attire is thoroughly waterlogged. Smoke rises from the fire pit I built from our pic for our picnic. That seems like ages ago now. The once bright flames have been reduced to glowing embers, and I draw myself close to thaw in their warmth. What has Grace become? What have I done? This whirlpool of thoughts is interrupted by a lone silhouette standing atop the ridge. For a moment, I worry it's the fisherman, but the boat is nowhere to be seen, and the figure is distinctly more feminine. It's Alana. Oh! Never mind. It's Marion. Malcolm! Malcolm! Marion rushes. Oh, I'm sorry. Marion rushes toward me, and part of me longs to throw myself back into the lock. The last thing I want to see right now is another McLeod. Malcolm! What happened? Are you alright? You're drenched! Let's get these clothes off! No! No, I'll be, I'll be fine. I'll, I'll be, I'm fine. I need to change the subject. Now. What brings you all the way out here? I saw the smoke and figured Grace might be out here. She still hasn't come back, you see. I bought her clothes and some sardines. They're her favorite. Here, let me at least get you some towels. I'm shivering, not just from the cold, but from shock. She wraps towels around me just as I wrapped, had wrapped quilts around her yesterday. The irony is not lost on me. I gladly accept them nonetheless. Have, have you seen her recently? Grace, is she alright? There are a multitude of ways I could answer those questions, every one of which way could be the wrong way. Fortunately, or unfortunately, I don't have to. Oh! Shit. <laughs> well, hell! That's one way of uh, breaking the ice. Marion? Grace? Grace? Oh no. Why is it fading to black? Why is it fading to black? Oh no. Huh. Okay, I guess it ended there. In fairy tales, I learned the truth. The core essence of people's deepest fears. Their darkest wishes or private desires. Watching a fairy tale unfold in real life was to see the story with all of its flaws. Everything impossible became possible. Unfortunately, not everyone who wanted those elusive fairy tales to come true, for what some saw as pleasure, others found pain. It says that the closer people grew into their true selves, the wider the divide between relationships. I only hope that I could discover what bridged that gap. Hmm. Oh man. There's no way I'm there's no way I can be close to the end of the end of the game. I mean, at least from Je at least from Jesse's side, because I saw I saw a lot of other characters on like the website and everything that I haven't met yet. Hmm. Oh, what are we doing? Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, she fainted, <laughs> and she's carrying her. I thought they were doing something else. For such a small girl, she's as heavy as an ox. Grace, now is the time to complain. We're all lucky Marion did, did what all we're lucky all Marion did was pass out. I imagine Grace rolling her eyes, but I also don't want to make eye contact. There's something about the fish face that still makes my stomach drop. I didn't say it's a fish face. But I do still glances below the neck. Her dress is torn wide open and she seems oblivious. Oh what she's going to do. Yeah, for the fisherman to net me. 
Yes, exactly. Yo, for anybody. You can't be seen like this. What? No, oh, come. Grace drops in her tracks and drops Marion's legs, leaving me with all of her sister hanging from my arms. I'm too exposed. <laughs> no, no. She steps forward, arching her back, pressing everything my way. Yes, and you're... Too fishy. Grace frowns and picks up Marion's legs again, relieving my burden some, although the burden of guilt reacting the way I did remains. I really feel like I need to make things right about what just happened. We have been disappearing after our, our time together. I just don't know exactly what to say. I, uh... Spit it out, Malcolm. Thanks for him. You're welcome. <laughs> Grace is grinning again, which makes my heart thump faster. My stomach starts to settle, too. Alright, we're gonna pause it right there, guys. This is, a uh, Oh, Lord! This has been one hell of an episode, I must say. We've got... Nessie boobies! <laughs> it's such a fucking child! <laughs> She's like, hmm... I like these. These are nice. I would like more of these in the future, please. <laughs> Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and ring that notification bell to the next video. I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!